Hello, uh, I'm going to show you how to configure time and attendance for this device uh, on Smart PSS Lite. So once you have your device set up and running and you can clock in and out successfully, so I'll use different fingers for different users in this case, then you can come to Smart PSS. Once you have the device uh, online, then uh, go to home uh, under the menu attendance. You can monitor attendance. You can add personnel, you can manage attendance, and also extract records and reports. So I'll go to, pers to personnel. Of course, I have personnel I extracted in another video. Uh, then uh, I go to attendance. So if I click on attendance, I can configure attendance rule, like uh, overtime rule, holiday, and all that. Then statistic items, I can set uh, when... Uh, you're required to, wait, to, to work, valid work, and all that, I can change the name. Then for attendance period, I need to set up an attendance period. So by default, Smart PSS Lite will give me uh, this default time, 8.30 to 5.30. Uh, record as how many minutes, 5.40 minutes. So you can change either minutes or hours. Then you set up, you can add these extra rules like last uh, card swiping is maybe 60 minutes after, must not be more than 5 minutes, maybe late sign in over 120 minutes marked as absent, uh, maybe early leave within 5 minutes is permitted, uh, then you must not leave maybe within a specific period of time. Then once you have this, you save, then you come to attendance shift. So under attendance shift, uh, you create a shift. By default, the default shift created is 8.30 to 5.30 which uh, we have from the attendance period. So, so for the default shift, uh, I can set maybe day or week. So let, let me use, for example, uh, if we have, for example, um, week, then we'll have maybe seven days of the week. So I can easily drag the attendance period to the different weeks and use, use that. So for this case, I'll just leave it uh, as it was default, uh, weekend, not working, weekdays, working. Then I'll come to shift schedule, and then you select like this list of users, uh, then uh, assign, assign the default shift, and then click on OK. So by default, uh, checking default shift has uh, three, three users. Then... Uh, I can now count attendance uh, after extracting and marking this device at a, as an attendance point. So I'll select here and mark it as an attendance point. Then we select OK at the far, far bottom. Then uh, I can now uh, calculate attendance for these users because I already have the uh, records. So generally that is how it it would work, but under settings uh, of Smart PSS Lite, uh, we have System Config, which I'll go to, and then I'll select Attendance Setting. There's uh, a way of sending report time, either in minutes, hours, hours and minutes, so you decide on what you want. Then you can do third-party data syn synchronization, then you key in add the path this path to your third party uh, database then you can do attendance SMTP so you can send on email uh, automatic uh, in that way so that is how you basically understand uh, smart PSS Lite can do attendance uh, for you